welcome this evening. Um, uh, Monday, the oh, day on 20th of May, uh, to the Finance Committee in Macclesfield Town Hall. And we will start the meeting um, with uh, great enthusiasm. So, if we look at uh, any apologies for absence. Councillor Chris Wellcock and Councillor Mike Richardson. And do we have any declarations of interest at all in this world? Lovely, thank you. If you do think of one during the meeting, I'm often um, remembering things, so it's good to speak up at the time. So we'll move on to, um, uh, should we, we'll do the minutes and then we'll do the grant applications after. So the minutes of the Finance Committee on the 26th of February. Has anyone got any comments or anything? Page one, two, three. Uh, somebody like to propose the minutes for us? Anything you want to say? Anyone seconding? Well, I second. Lovely, I'll second them. And we'll go to a vote. Anyone who went here, so one abstention. There you go. Uh, Councillor Richardson. Lovely. So that's three people that were there. And we'll move on to any updates. Uh, was there any actions from the minutes? No. Lovely, thank you. We'll move on to item number five then, which is the grant applications. And this evening we've got three, so welcome. And we're looking forward to hearing from you. So first of all is Circus Star, and we're at 1,200. So if you'd like to come and talk to us, that'd be great. Anywhere you feel comfortable, you can sit or stand or whatever. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting um, us uh, this time. It's very good of you to listen to, to us again. Um, so Circus Star, I don't know whether you're all familiar, I know some of you are, um, is Star in the Community, CIC, trading with Circus Star. And we put on um, accessible, inclusive circus themed shows or circuses uh, for children and families who find it difficult to access live performance because of um, barriers to accessing um, theatre or anywhere else, and that's due to disability, social isolation, or any other barrier that um, they struggle with. So um, we put on all together 74 different towns we go to throughout the UK. Um, and we've got two performances on at each, uh, at each venue. Um, our fundraising team talked to local businesses in the area that we're, we, we're at uh, to see if they'd be kind enough to support the show by covering the cost of a child or children to go to the show. Um, so uh, this is supported by uh, the local organisations that we allocate uh, tickets to free of charge. Um, so then, so, so, so we allocate the seats free of charge, and then our fundraisers uh, talk to local businesses who, with you know, with luck, cover the cost of children coming to the show. Um, I look after trust and grants, and I've been doing that for ooh, eight years uh, now. I've been at Circus Star ten, um, and we are sort of um, built the trust and grants up uh, quite a lot to cover projects and things that we uh, are doing to improve our audience experience, to make it easier for them, more accessible for them. So as an, ex in a, uh, an example, um, this year we've committed to every one of our shows being BSL signed. Um, and we've got you know, some funding for that and we continue to get funding for that. Uh, we also supply um, sensory boxes free of charge uh, to any of those, any of the members of our audience who find it useful. Um, we, uh, what else do we do? We have uh, Revolution, uh, which is Vehicles for Change, which tours with us, and that's a, a mobile change in places toilets. So it's, we've become much more accessible to wheelchair users or some or, you know, children or families who find it difficult to, to use uh, normal disabled uh, uh, facilities. Um, so that's what we do. Our organisations that we um, 
allocate tickets to. It could be it's it's far and wide, and we've spent many many years. We've been going for thirty seven years now, um, building up the organisations that we work with. Um, so as as examples of that, sort of SEM schools, SEM departments in mainstream schools, uh, children's wards, hospices, social services, uh, national charities who who operate in the towns that we go to as well. Um, Rally for the Disabled, for instance, we give uh, tickets to young carers, refugee state, uh, you know, charities and food banks, all those sorts of places um, use our tickets and we can fill our shows so many times over, you know. Um, so this year, we would normally be in the big top and the big top is, is the gold standard. Um, for many reasons, mostly of which it's, it's very, very accessible to everybody. It's all on one level. We can get 25 to 30 wheelchairs around the ring, um, a lot of theatres. I know we've done some in Yorkshire where they've only, only allowed three wheelchairs per performance, which is, you know, we then stop being accessible at that point. Um, so, unfortunately, because of the last four years, so that's um, Brexit uh, for us, um, COVID of course, and now the, um, the, the financial crisis and so on. It's become increasingly um, expensive to use the big top. So that, you know, we're talking about um, um, logistical costs. So that's uh, HGV drivers for funding. It's very, very difficult to get those. Um, the cost of fuel has gone through the roof. Um, and all those other things that get our big top from A to B um, has all gone up by about 60% in the last four years. So that's, that's a big gap to, to chase. So this year, to just, we're just stepping back to sort of regroup a bit. Um, and in winter months, we do theatre tours. So we're doing all three tours in theatres or um, town halls or in Macclesfield's case at the King's School, which is an amazing facility, I have to say. It's, uh, we can, you know, we can fit in sort of 450 each performance safely. And they have everything there. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so that's what we're doing this year, and that's why we're not in the big top, because we have a big um, bid in with the National Lottery. Uh, so hopefully they, they will give us this money for the next three years to support our big top tour, because that's that's where we're unique and that's where it's easy for our audience to access live mm -hmm. performance. Excellent, thank you very much. Um, as I say, I've got quite a lot of questions. <coughs> uh, has anyone else got some things to ask? Yeah? Yeah, um, thank you very much. Yeah, it's, uh, I, what, from what I've heard to people who've attended the show, it's, it's really accessible, it's really good. Um, my question is just about um, it being placed in King School, will there be transport provided from Macclesfield Town Centre, as you know, King School is, is outside, outside, outside it, yeah. yes. I mean, we in the big top, we were at the Rugby Club, which is a yeah. million miles away. Um, we don't provide that, no. Um, a lot of the um, organisations, or some of the organisations certainly have, uh, their own transport, which they, which they use, um, and the rest of the time, it, you know, it, it's personal vehicles. I would say. I mean, as I said, th this year, it's one off. Well, we're hoping it's a one off, uh, you know, so we can recoup. Um, hopefully, next year we should be back in the big top. Um, anyone else? Yeah. 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 Um, you said that. The King site can hold 450. That's How many do you have in the big top? Oh, Is that 500 per show. 500? Per show, yes. Wow. So that's incredible. That's how accessible it is. That's why it's so brilliant. Because it's, it's you know, we can get so many wheelchair users. It's all on one level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it's just very, very accessible. It's also much easier to find pictures of the big top, we could believe than trying to um, secure uh, venues mm. through other theatres or oh. and they can also be incredibly expensive. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, 
So my question is the sixty that the local children, presumably they are Macclesfield. Yes, they are. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then um Councillor the way to discuss the King's it, it isn't very accessible, I have to be honest. It's difficult to get to. It's also it isn't in Macclesfield, so I'm just wondering if you've approached other parish councils like Presbury? Because it's yes, it we have. Okay. Yeah, we we literally we've gone everywhere. And the the reason in that we First of all, it's availability. Right. Second of all, it's also much more accessible than a lot of the others. Okay. Um, they, uh, you know, we can offer more tickets. A lot of them are, are quite small. Some of them are only 150, and you know, with only being two performances, yeah. that cuts out an awful lot of people. And who who do you not allocate tickets to? That's the thing. So you know, we try and get venues that are, uh, you know, we could get on normal sort of. Um, audience figures in. Um, and the other thing is that we've just, I mean, you, you have come every year for the last quite a few years, and we're just wondering about working with CBS to find sort of other funding because it, it feels as if it's not a sort of one off, it very much feels like a. It is an annual event, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, won't, we won't deny that, you know. Um, so if we're looking at sustainability, uh, we are at the moment a community interest company, yeah. uh, not for profit. Um, we are hoping to become a charity okay. in, in this sort of next year. Um, so, and that will change our funding quite considerably. Right. As a CIC, you know, I've got the directory of Grant Making Foundation, it's Phoenix, like that. Yeah. I would say we could probably apply for that much because of, you know, it's, it's uh, registered charities only. Yeah. And um, as a registered charity, that opens up a massive yeah. sort of field for us then. And it's competitive, just as competitive as, as anything else. Um, but, so, when we become a charity, we, we have access then to many more um, foundations. So we can, you know, we can then um, sort of uh, branch out there. Um, the other side of becoming a charity is gift aid. Okay. We don't get uh, gift aid now, but we will do when we become a charity. And that, that, you know, we sort of estimated that that should, per year, bring in something like 150,000, okay. which. Um, is a game changer as well. It gives um, our small to medium uh, businesses who we approach gives them confidence, more confidence in who we are, and you know how serious we are about what we do and how committed. And it also opens up um, broaching into much larger companies. Yeah. So at the moment, we're very lucky we have some large companies. Uh, Swan's Way is one. They're fantastic. Toyota, they support our wrestling in our garden uh, shows, uh, and they're amazing, they're absolutely fabulous. Uh, but it will give us a toehold into other bigger businesses, being a registered charity. So, um, yeah, that's you know that's the way we're going forward at the moment. And as I said, we've, we've applied for this large sum to support um, our core costs and things over the next few years with the lottery. And the other, the only thing that we've, we've noticed that um, the town council isn't listed anywhere as one of the supporters or sponsors. They should be. It should be on the. Is it not on the thing? I've checked on the website this morning. Right. Okay. I'll make sure that's there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Make sure that's there. And it is on the screens at the shows. Uh, you know, we make sure that's there. Um, but yes, absolutely. I'll make sure that that's that's done for you. It's lovely. Thank you very much. I think if we um, do want to apply next year, I think it'd be useful to have a list of the other places that you can mm -hmm. apply to, like parish council and things like that, yeah. so that we've got a bit more of an idea. Because um, as I say, it's, it's a regular fund and yes. request that feels I mean, as if it's yeah. becoming a bit business as usual, so it's, um, we need to consider how, how that can be Yes, that's, that's fair enough. I mean, as far as the Map of Steel show is concerned, the Russell Trust is supporting us uh, again this time. Um, I can't have applied to two. I should have brought a list, shouldn't I? <laughs> but I have, a, I have applied to three or four okay. uh, for Matters. So I'm always looking for, for places that I can 
you know, new places, but again, this is, you know, becoming a charity, then, then change is quite considerably for us. Yeah. Sorry, can I just ask one, one small question? Is, has um, a King's given you the venue free? No. 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 I, I, Nobody does. Yeah, a bit disappointed with that because they do get huge tax breaks for keeping yeah. public schools. No, and they're and actually private right. school. It's um, quite expensive. You know, uh, and they do have transports as well, and that I think they could they could offer that. <coughs> it may be that they have. Yeah. But I, I don't book the venues. So oh, I see. Um, yeah. John Arl coordinates the events coordinator. Uh, I can ask him that question. That'd be lovely. And it, you. It, you know, it may be that they have, and I just didn't know about it. Mm. Um, but yes, you you know, when we first started, or up until about the last eight years, seven years, we would get a lot of council rounds for free mm. uh, for the big top. Um, now you can be paying a couple of thousand pounds mm. for twenty four hours, and it's a lot of money. Indeed. Lovely. Has anyone else got any questions at all? No. And we want to move forward. Um, I wonder if it's a one-day event, you say? We do two performances, yes. In, in, so, the, day, in the day. Yes, so we'll do one, say, um, I can't remember when Mattersfield is, whether it's on a, uh, I think it may be on a Saturday, so it'll be okay. half past one, and then we'll do a four, four o'clock. Oh, okay. And the idea of it behind that is that we can get to many more places. Absolutely. So... of West Park, uh, funding request for £250. Hello. Hi, I'm Ruth Anderson, I'm from Friends of West Park. We've been going for about five years. Each of the town parks has a, a Friends group. We meet once a month, there's only about six of us really that meet regularly. Um, and we work with other groups within the town who are organising things, but what we've achieved so far are things like uh, we've got a skate ramp to be redone because it was getting um, unsafe. Uh, we had the seats put around the skate ramp area. Uh, we've lower had the fence. We work very closely with ANSA, you know, who do the maintenance and so on for the parks now. Um, and they lowered the hedges, for example, around the road garden so that it was more accessible and noticeable because a lot of people didn't even seem to realise we got that area. Also, we thought it might increase visibility and so there'd be less um, antisocial drug use or whatever else in those areas of the park. Um, and we've got the gate widened of, from Sainsbury's because that used to be quite a narrow gate and it was difficult for people with disabilities and um, double buggies and things like that. So we've, uh, and the puddle, there was always a puddle <laughs> below the cafe as your yeah. main way through the park. Um, so uh, they call actually it was me that for years has gone on about that, so that's called Ruth's Puddle. And it still gets um, bogged up every so often, so we have to keep reminding them to clean out the um, gully things. Anyway, so those are the kind of things we've done in the past. And then the last year and this year, we've started doing more activities for families and um, within the park on a every couple of months basis. Uh, for example, we had one at Easter when it was crafts and things that were to do with um, the children made Easter bunnies and we did painting and so on. And we've got one on um, Bank Holiday Monday next, the week of the next, uh, well, the week's day probably, isn't it? Um, to, to do, I don't know whether any of you have um, had, a, had children using the park or whatever, but in the play equipment, there's a thing that they call the spider, but it's not because it's only got four legs. So it's more like a bug, and it's all getting a bit um, discoloured with the paint. So we're going to have it painted by someone called Becca Smith, who runs a kind of a, I think it's called Macclesfield at Art College or something now. Um, and so we're going to have an activity for children uh, to design the kind of paint that, painting or the patterns that they want on this piece of equipment. Uh, so that's the next one. The one after that's going to be called... Part, no, not party in the park. Um, something to do with me. Sorry. Look around the lot. 
Yes, yes. Rock about around the rock. We're going to get a local band to do music and we're going to do something around that big rock in the park. Um, so we've had quite a few. So last year you gave us £250 towards organising these activities, so we're asking for the same amount this year. And when we apply for Sense Breakdown of how that was, was spent, and we've sent a thing to say how, how we spent it this year. So it's the same kind of things. It's for snacks and drinks and craft materials and games, outdoor games for people to play, for children to play in the park during these occasions, um, posters and that kind of thing, laminating and so on. Um, so we're asking if you'll do the same again this year. Um, so that's it. Lovely, thank that's you very much. Really Questions, yeah? No, I don't have a question. I don't know whether I need to prepare a little chat because this is in my ward. No, no, oh, right. no. <laughs> I think it's a town park. I mean, it's yeah. obviously, yeah. 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 it is in one of the wards, the children's Any wards. Any questions? But, yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, sorry, yes. I think we said that on the application. We get, well the last one at Easter we had 55 uh, children attended during the day. Uh, so it's usually between 50 and 70, it's quite surprising. Even one that we did in the absolute pouring rain, we still got 50 children and the parents and the guardians or whoever just couldn't believe it, that there was something going on that their children could come and do on a rainy day. Um, and kept saying, what, is it free? And we just couldn't believe it. So uh, we work uh, with Dave Mayers, who does a lot of the, well, he does this, practically everything in Matterfield, but he's all on the St Michael's um, group and he's on our committee as well. So we coordinate if they're organising something. So we did once do with trees, uh, the trees in the park, and it was like a treasure hunt to try identify the different trees and so that we link up with um, environmental things as well, and do a lot of litter picking and uh, teaching the children about the different types of litter and so on. So. so I'd just like to say thank you very much for the volunteer time that you all put in, and it's having eyes on, isn't it? Yes, yes. So it's having eyes on all of those different little problems and issues. Yeah, and that um, come up all the time. Yeah. And just to say that I've always thought that the spider does have eight legs, and the the, the legs are the outside bits and the bits in between the ladders. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> so it does have any That's how I explained it to my children. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they were very particular about that thing. Yeah. Um, just my only question is that it's obviously you, you're inviting families and you're inviting um, children, children to come and do things, yeah. which is great. Do you, at the same time, <coughs> let people know that they can get more involved and join Friends of West? Oh, yes, there's a, a thing up. We used to have it up in the, the cafe, but we also have, and I understand the cafe is reopening at the, um, very shortly, which would be brilliant. But outside, attached to the building, we've got a notice board that tells you about Friends of West Park. We have a Friends of West Park Facebook page, um, and we link in with, um, oh, we've got a WhatsApp group as well. So um, we do let people know that we very much welcome other people to join us. We've linked up with the other friends groups at once to try and find out how they find um, other volunteers to do it with us, with with them. And in fact, we found that they're even smaller than we are now, even South Park, which is surprising because they've got a lot organised there, haven't they? Um, so yes, we do um, let and everyone know. And obviously you'll be putting our logo on the things that you do. And yes, yes, certainly. If you'd like to join us, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to propose if that's okay. Anyone second? That's kind of right. Should we take it to vote then? Everyone agreed? Lovely. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you for all Thank that you, you do. You. Lovely. We'll move on to 5.3. And this is multiple sclerosis, community action and support. Um, would you like to come to us? Uh, 240. Yes, thank you for this opportunity this evening. Uh, my name is Laurie Kennard and I'm a volunteer fundraiser for MS Cass. Brand new charity this year and this is our first funding application, so uh, it's all new to us. Um, MS Cass stands for Multiple Sclerosis Community Action and Support. Um, we set up last year but became only operational really in January. The critical thing is it's managed by the same team that ran um, the committee uh, a 
of the Macclesfield and District MS Society, which is part of the national group. And we're one of the most successful groups in the country, and it's the same team that, that we've got now. Uh, and for that one year we won the, the Society Award as the most successful group. So that's the sort of background to, to us. And the reasoning for the new charity is that the MS Society seems to be increasingly spending its quite large sums of money on very, very expensive uh, research projects on the disease, uh, teamed up with Cambridge and, and other places. And this seems to us at the expense of the people who are suffering uh, with MS now, or have MS now. Um, and we were putting in grant applications for adaptions at home, like rails and, and uh, steps and things like that. And we weren't getting the, the funding. Um, and back before COVID, um, we decided we wanted to go our own way. It's taken all these years to get, because of COVID interruption, to get to this point. But the important thing is that the MS Society cooperated with us on this. It wasn't an, uh, there was no animosity. Uh, and we set up MS CAS to offer local people the services in Macclesfield and the immediate area of East Cheshire. And two thirds of our current membership, um, membership being an odd word, we don't have a membership fee, but two thirds of the people on our books, as it were, live within the town council area. Uh, and that's where our activity is centred. The application before you is um, for uh, the Mary Sunley Canal Boat Trips, which are run by a local, another local charity, uh, and their aim is to provide a service to improve the life of people disadvantaged by all sorts of things, including illness, uh, and obviously living in the area. And they operate four hour cruises on the Macclesfield Canal, and the boat can take up to 12 passengers. Uh, with up to four in wheelchairs and there's a chair hoist to get them on and off the boat and an adaptable uh, adapted toilet on board the boat. Our plan is to offer two such trips for the people with MS uh, and a third for their carers or their family members looks after them as a, as a respite day. Uh, on the boat there are drinks available but we intend to stop for a fish and chip lunch to make a, a complete day of it. So our request to you is for funding for the two trips um, and we will, pay, we will match fund it with the payment for the third trip and the fish and chip lunches as well. And our plan is to operate these uh, later this summer. Uh, the boat is very popular so we have to get in fairly soon for the evening for September, October. Um, so we're hoping to operate them later this year. Thank you for listening. more of a statement to say what a wonderful idea and something I think of some of my residents would enjoy and I think people need to realise the impact of um, doing something fun with people who've got a long term health issue or a disability the impact that makes on their um, physical and men mental well-being and that I really thank you for, for setting it up yes thank you thank you Well, we have to say most of the people who are on our books, members, for want of a better word, are people who, who were with us on the MS Society, and that number is building all the time. Um, I don't think we'll have any problem getting 24 MS, uh, people with MS and 12 of their relatives or carers. I don't think that'll be a problem at all. And in terms of the respite and the support, do you already have a group or um, a function doing support for people who are carers? Yes, I mean, I don't know if I can pass this around. This is a, this is a, a piece of uh, material that one of our people, has, it's all been done in-house, so keeping the costs as low as we can at the moment. Um, but we have um, weekly sessions uh, at the leisure centre uh, for activities, um, the counselling services, and these are all people who, who were involved with the MS Society. They've all come to carry it on with us. So we've got a program we're trying to build up, and this is just the start. For setting up a, a charity, it's a big, big decision, isn't it, to leave sort of a national organisation? But uh, yeah. Well, it's some people, not me. I'm, I, I'm <laughs> a lot of people have done an awful lot of work on it. Yeah. Anyone got any other questions? Where do you meet locally? Did I ask? 
Well, there's a meeting at the leisure centre, I can feel the leisure centre, um, which is sort of, a, and there's a drop in at the Salvation Army down uh, by the car park there, at the bottom of the yeah. car park. Uh, those are the sort of two main local ones, but also we have big things are going on in the as well, but mainly in, in those two places. Thank you. Any other questions from anyone? Right, thanks. Councillor Gilbert. Um, I think it's bad. I'm just a bit confused about the numbers. So you've got 24 local sufferers of MS, but only 12 carers. Yes, I mean, the, the main, the main. well, we could extend this, of course. I mean, if we get those places taken, we can, we can add more. Um, but it only takes 12 on the boat. Um, so the 24 will be two lots of 12. Correct. And then the 12 respite will be one lot of 12. One half of the 24. Yeah. I mean, it's not restricted. The twenty doesn't. The twelve it can be the first with MS and a partner. We're not going to start saying. Okay. But the whole point is to try and give as many of those partners or family a respite okay. day in, separately. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyone? Did you need to make any decision making? Those. That's a quick off the mark. Anyone second? Yeah. Thank you, Councillor. Should we take the vote?
the uh, detailed balance sheet, 7.2.3. Uh, regular payment, 7.2.4. Don't think there's anything on there that's uh, stranger than usual. And authorised payments, big long list. Ooh. Face painting queen is worth her weight in gold, <laughs> isn't she? She did an absolutely fabulous job in uh, April. I'll just the first one I see on the big long list, but she is worth a call out, isn't she? Because she's, they're absolutely great, and um, I think they are very much worth the money. And they did very nicely, so they just did small little face paints, super quick, super quick. They got through so many, didn't they? Yeah. They are brilliant. So I suspect they'll be on our sheet again yes. in the future, won't they? Yes, they are. Anything else at all? Authorised payments? No, they've all gone through. And So the date and place of the next meeting is 7pm on the 15th.